Amanda Stowers is beating up on her drone as her professor David Lentink watches on with glee. It may seem cruel, but it's all in the name of science. No matter how hard or how many times Amanda hits the drone's wing, it always recovers and keeps on flapping. Stowers says that even drones equipped with advanced sensors can't avoid the inevitable. At some point, they'll fly into something. As much pre-processing and sensors as you can do, you might still occasionally hit things, and this can be quite detrimental. And so if you can be robust to hitting something, you can potentially go into a more risky environment. Environments like the inside of a structurally damaged building after an earthquake as part of a search and rescue operation. Currently, drones are designed after helicopters or fixed-wing planes, both of which cannot sustain mid-air impact. The team wanted to develop a mechanism that could take a beating and maintain flight. The answer came in the form of a bird's wing, which, much like a human arm, has joints to give it flexibility. Lantink says mimicking nature is easier said than done. So I think one of the big challenges in uh, studying birds and applying that in technology is making the translation from what you find in, uh, in nature to something you can actually build in a lab. But they overcame the challenge. The key, says Stowers, was designing their drone to flap like a bird. A bird's flapping motion creates a centrifugal force that keeps it flying even after it collides with something, recovering in a fraction of a second over the course of a single wing beat. David Lentink says that having wings that can change shape has other advantages as well. The most important thing about being able to change your shape in flight is that every flight speed Every maneuver has a different shape that's optimal. An optimal shape means better efficiency, allowing drones of the future to maneuver in cluttered environments using less energy.